Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Tonight we're going to be making crock pot pulled pork. So stick around. asking me, Daryl, man, when are you going to bring in some more barbecue? I brought in chicken wings, I brought in pulled pork. So I, I figured that I'd go ahead and treat the guys to another lunchtime treat of some pulled pork. But you know, as much as I like to do pulled pork out on the UDS and get that authentic smoke flavor, I really gonna, don't have time for that. So tonight, we're going to be doing pulled pork in the crock pot. And I'll be showing you how I do that. Okay? So, first, I'm show you the major players are our ingredients tonight. We got two Boston butts. We're gonna be cutting up a half an onion in each one of the crock pots. We're gonna be putting a tablespoon of garlic in each crock pot. We're also gonna be putting some liquid smoke to give it a little smoky flavor, some parsley, a little oregano and basil, a little olive oil on the meat just to hold the rub and this is a little rub recipe that I have and I'll put that down in the notes of the video the recipe now this one's I don't have a whole lot of salt in this one here just because of the other ingredients that's going into the crock pot and last but not least we have coca-cola the real thing this is going to help the pork get real tender while it's cooking for eight hours in the crock pot so stick around let me do the prep work and we'll get right back to you pork butts all seasoned and ready to go into the slow cookers we're going to go ahead and cut up our onions measure out the rest of our ingredients and show you just how everything should go within the crock pot to make your pulled pork the best that it can be Now that we got all our ingredients prepped, we got one whole sweet Fidelia onion cut up. We're going to put half of the onion in each one of the crock pots. Then we have a quarter cup of parsley, a quarter cup of oregano, and a quarter cup of basil. We also got a teaspoon of garlic here, and then we're going to put a teaspoon of liquid smoke in there to add a little smoky flavor. First thing you want to do is you want to put the onions on the bottom of your crock pot and let the meat sit on top of it in order for them to absorb some of the flavor. Then you want to put your one teaspoon of garlic down at the bottom also. Then it'll get moved around with the coke. The next thing you want to do is put your on camera, put your pork butt in the crock pot. Might be a tight fit but it'll be alright. Okay. Then we go ahead and add our one teaspoon of liquid smoke. Don't use too much liquid smoke. The liquid smoke is a very strong flavor. It'll overpower the rest of the seasonings. And then we add our Coca-Cola. Now you want to pour your Coke in and around your pork butt 
but not to the top of your crock pot. You want to do it three quarters of the way because the pork butt is going to create juices of its own. We don't want to wait until tomorrow morning and have pork juice all over the countertop. So, there we go. Then we add the rest of our herbs. Sprinkle over our basil, our oregano, and our parsley. Now, we're gonna to top this off. We're gonna cook it on high for eight hours. And then tomorrow morning, we'll show you how we use the bear claws to pull the pull pork apart and add a little sweet baby raised barbecue sauce to make it all come together. So, until tomorrow morning, sleep tight.
we got the full book broken down, got the teeth and things, it's time to take a test and see how it came out. Get a little bowl here, get a little bit from the, from the pan. Came out nice and tender. You can taste the herbs. That's why I used the seasoning on the pork bus that didn't have any salt in it so that at the end I can use some Cajun seasoning to adjust the salt content. Uh, that way I wouldn't have too much. Um, and then of course, the Sweet Baby Ray's rounded it all off. So, try this for yourself. Take in a crock pot to the office. Make your co-workers happy. This has been Bad Beast Barbecue once again. I'm Daryl Smith. Remember, when there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. <laughs>